BBC. Basher scandal could now spark criminal inquiry. Pressure was growing on rogue BBC reporter Martin Basher yesterday as Priti Patel refused to rule out that prosecutions could follow. When asked about his discredited Panorama interview with Diana, the Home Secretary said, If there is action, that needs to be taken that will follow. Diana's brother Earl Spencer had already turned up a heat on Basher, by claiming his sister was the victim of blackmail and fraud. Scotland Yard is also now assessing the Dyson report into the scandal, published last Thursday, to see if any new evidence could lead to a criminal investigation. The Under Fire reporter said yesterday that he was deeply sorry for any distress suffered by Prince William and Prince Harry. But he again insisted that he did not deceive their mother. He added, I never wanted to harm Diana in any way, and I don't believe we did. Everything we did in terms of the interview was as she wanted, from when she wanted to alert the palace, to when it was broadcast, to its contents. My family and I loved her. Basha was described as sounding like a broken man as he responded to the Dyson report for the first time. The inquiry revealed how forged bank statements appear to show that three men close to the princess had spied on her for money. Basha used the fictitious documents to persuade her to grant him the award-winning interview seen by 23 million viewers in the UK. The cover-up of his dishonesty by senior figures at the BBC was also exposed and criticised by Lord Dyson. Earl Spencer, who introduced Diana to Basha after seeing the forgeries, has reportedly written to Metropolitan Police Commissioner Dame Cressida Dick alleging a number of crimes including blackmail and fraud. Detectives had previously ruled out a criminal inquiry into the scandal in March. But Scotland Yard said that investigators are now potentially reassessing that decision.